Hey, so today I want to talk about 2012 film Killing Them Softly. Now this film is written and directed by Andrew Dominic, and it's adapted from a book by George B. Higgins's Cogan Street. Now I should mention this book that this film is actually based on is kind of like a sort of a franchise of sorts. I think it's a third book in a series of films. So the main character. Jack Cogan or Jackie Cogan is actually like a returning character who just uh, goes through like different kind of sagas and things like that and there are a bunch of other characters and this like a whole interwoven universe thing. Of course he didn't do any of that and Dominic just straight up dived into this book and he made this film. Now this film stars Brad Pitt, James Gandolfini, Sam Shepard, Scott McNary, Ben Mendelsohn and a lot of other people whom if you would definitely know if you have seen a lot of films or TV shows in your time but definitely can't remember their name they're just you know that type of cast the first thing that I want to say about this film is this film's marketing has been actually quite misleading I remember seeing all the marketing about this film in 2012 and it kind of really really gripped me but, you know the Brad Pitt's look and the poster where Brad Pitt is like kind of holding the shotgun all of these are actually considered kind of you know pretty remarkable from a marketing standpoint and they marketed the poster the trailer and the launch everything in a certain way but this film is not like that this film is actually a very different film I actually wrote in my letter box that this film kind of is like Sopranos meets Goodfellas meets perfection for a bad of lack of better word but also, this film is none of those three things. Uh, Killing Them Softly, first of all, goes around kind of with an ensemble cast. This film is not a Brad Pitt vehicle starter. Even though Brad Pitt is the main producer of this film and this comes from his production house Plan B and the marketing, marketing heavily relied on Brad Pitt, this is not a Brad Pitt film. Brad Pitt is used in this film in very segmented ways. For like, the Brad Pitt actually comes pretty late in the film and at one point I was kind of confused that am I seeing the same film or what and I have to like recheck I'm like yeah Brad Pitt is in this I actually didn't want to see this film because Brad Pitt I wanted to see this film because of Andrew Dominic but yeah so you can see that there's a literal confusion between the marketing of this film and kind of what this film is actually about and with all those genres you can already tell this is a heavily gangster relied film and there's a lot of kind of noir tropes in there but none of this is actually kind of you know serious Andrew Dominic does things in a way that things kind of go by his rule he's like stylized direction in one scene then again he's like very cash and like laissez faire in another scene the characters converse for like prolonged amount of time which will instant to make you remind of uh, Tarantino then again the action scenes are not that heavy and kind of kept in a down low for a long time so yeah all of this kind of comes together in a very mishmash of a film that is reminiscent of Tarantino's work Guy Ritchie's work and of course Martin Scorsese's work but somehow this film is unique even though you would get reminded of all of those films, this film absolutely stands on its own. And this film has kind of a distinct voice that I don't think a lot of people in this genre would have or, uh, you know, just one film reminding you of all these other films have any right to have this kind of voice, but it does. And that's why if you like all of those films, I think you should definitely check this out. I like this film. This film I gave four out of five. And as far as a neo noir or gangster genre film goes, this is a very strong film. And there's no food on it or any kind of rely, uh, any kind of stuff like that. It's just like a straight up gangster and mob kind of film, but in a very subtle way, with kind of stylized and minimalist effort.